Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is complex numbers. In this lesson, we'll learn about solving equations with complex roots. Our problem reads, given that x plus 1 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0, solve the equation. Let's go to our algorithm. Step 1, identify factors. In this example, we're given a factor of x plus 1. In other cases, we might use the factor theorem to find a factor. We might use the complex conjugate root theorem to find a factor, which states that complex roots come in conjugate pairs. If you identify a complex root as one solution of a polynomial, then another solution of the polynomial is that complex root's conjugate. And cube roots of unity relate to the three solutions for the equation x cubed equals 1. Step 2, use division to identify a remaining factor. I'm going to use synthetic division. You can also use long division as you prefer. I know that the root of the factor x plus 1 is negative 1, so I'm going to start with negative 1. The coefficients of the cubic equation, x cubed has a coefficient of 1, negative 2x squared has a coefficient of negative 2, 3x has a coefficient of 3, and the constant is 6. I'll apply the process of synthetic division. I bring down my first coefficient of 1. I then multiply my starting number, negative 1, times my starting result of 1, which results in negative 1. I sum the two numbers in the next column. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Again, multiplying negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Again, summing, 3 plus 3 is 6. Again, multiplying, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. Summing, 6 minus 6 equals 0. I now know that my factors are x plus 1, as given, along with the quadratic, represented by the x to the power of 2 term with a coefficient of 1, the x to the power of 1 term with a coefficient of negative 3, and the constant of 6, x squared minus 3x plus 6. This quadratic is the same result as I would get using long division. Step 3, solve for all roots. I'll work on the quadratic first. x squared minus 3x plus 6 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, which we'll solve in a moment. I'll apply the quadratic formula to find my solutions. Negative b is negative negative 3 plus or minus. The square root of b squared is negative 3 squared minus 4 times the coefficient of x squared is 1. The constant is 6 all over 2 times a, the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. We can simplify to 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 15 over 2 times 1 is 2, which will produce two solutions that are both complex numbers. 3 over 2 plus root 15 over 2i and 3 over 2 minus root 15 over 2i. And now going back to x plus 1 as the source of an additional solution, x plus 1 equals 0 means that x equals negative 1. This comes down as our third solution, negative 1. Notice the application of the complex conjugate root theorem here. We have two complex solutions. One is the conjugate of the other, 3 over 2 plus root 15 over 2i, and 3 over 2 minus root 15 over 2i. We'll end this video here, and when we come back, we'll look at another example of solving equations with complex roots.